When you create custom attributes in Active Directory, they won't always show in the list of available columns. So let me show you how we go about adding these attributes to a DataSync project and a common use case of updating the manage attribute for a user. To get started, connect your list of users to upload and then connect your Active Directory. Configure the schema map and map them to the correct columns within Active Directory. Remove any columns you don't need. We will remove Manager for now and come back to this later once we've uploaded our users. However, let's go about adding in the attribute Role. To do this, go to the Property collection and click on the ellipsis. Now choose Add and type in the Active Directory name for the attribute you wish to add. In this case, it's Title. Now let's add our own name for the attribute. Make sure that Read Only is set to False and set the Try Pass value to False too. Set the Schema class name property to User and set Enable Add to True. Refresh the target columns and add the role attribute to the schema map. Make sure to select a key column and then click Compare A to B to run the comparison. Click Synchronize and Start to run the sync. Now that it has run, we can update the Manager attribute. If we preview the data, we can see that currently our Manager column is shown as the display name. This will not work as it currently stands. So we can create a calculated column to change this to the distinguished name as expected by the field. Create the calculated column and use a lookup to look up the distinguished name from the display name in Active Directory. Now add this to the schema map and map it to Manager in Active Directory. Before we go any further, we need to change a few parameters for the Manager attribute. Go to the Properties collection and find Manager. Change Read Only to False and Try Pass Value to False. Now run the compare. We can see that the distinguished name for each manager is being returned. Run the synchronization to update the user records with the manager data. Now this is run. Previewing our Active Directory data will show us the manager for each user.